virtually delighted to welcome you all to the inauguration of the Commission of Inquiry to look into the activities of some personnel of the Nigerian police force. You recall that in the last few weeks, our dear country was engulfed with series of protests, seemingly against the activities of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SAS, of the Nigerian police force with the attendant security implication that is facing not only our state, but the entire nation. As a responsible and responsive government, it became absolutely necessary to arrest this situation and to avoid degeneration into a state of anarchy and chaos in our country. Accordingly, the National Economic Council met and convened a meeting on Thursday, the 15th of October, 2020, under the chairmanship of our Vice President, His Excellency, Professor Yemi Osibanjo. The resolution arrived at the meeting, obliged all the state governors to constitute Commission of Inquiry, pass one to Commission of Inquiry Act of Northern Nigeria with a view to carrying out in-depth investigation into the activities of the police force towards taming the escalation of this situation. As you are aware, the concern shown and expressed by well-meaning Nigerians of the country, including those in diaspora, and the pecu peculiarity of the spro sporadic protest has met the setting up of this commission not only inevitable, but obligatory. This is more so that some disgruntled elements and desperate politicians have cashed in on the situation with the intent of destabilizing the administration of our amiable leader, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari GCFR, President and Commander of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria at a time when steady progress and development is being recorded in the country. Let me digress to state that, as far as we are concerned in Nasarawa State, we have recorded some successes as a result of the activities of SAS. And we have identified that, we have also identified some weaknesses of SAS, and so we are in line with what is ever is happening in the country as far as it is for the peace of the nation. We have also identified the need and the right of every citizen to protest when policies of government are not going in the right direction. And they have the right to do that. But as far as we are concerned, when it comes to SAS, SAS has its own challenges, but SAS has been kind to Nasarawa State, and we appreciate it. <laughs> it is saddening to observe that even when the concern unit was dismantled by the Inspector General of Police, the protests appeared to continue unabated. I'm encouraged by the presence of the chairman and members of this all-important commission of inquiry whose appointments came without prior consultation. Your readiness to serve our country and our state and your statesmanship and love for peace, stability, progress, and development of Nasarawa State as a whole is highly commendable and we are very grateful. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, considering the issue at stake, eminent juries and time-tested security and public administrator, amongst you, we are carefully selected to serve on this important mission and ensure broad-based appraisal of the situation. I congratulate you, Mr. Chairman, and the distinguished members of this commission for earning the confidence and trust of government and the people of Nasarawa State to serve in this important committee. I also sincerely and honestly thank you for accepting to serve your state in that capacity. To carry out its assignment, the Commission of Inquiry will be guided by the following terms of reference. One to receive and investigate complaints of police brutality or related extrajudicial killings. Two, to evaluate evidence and draw conclusions 
on validity of complaints, and three, to recommend compensation and other remedial measures to the government. The commission is given six months from the date of this inaugural sitting to complete its assignment. With the caliber of members of this commission, I believe that the government and people of Nasrallah State, and indeed the Nigerian police force, will benefit immensely from your intellectual and professional wisdom. In the process of selecting you, we did not select those who will come and actually tell us what we want to hear. We selected people from the human rights, from the youth, traditional rulers, retired police officer, retired chief judge of the state, and then we also selected somebody who has always <coughs> stood for the less privileged, that is Dr. Nawani, who has fought government many times. <laughs> So we selected people that we believe, you know, will not be afraid to look at government and tell government exactly what the truth is. And I want to thank you sincerely for that. <laughs> I wish to state for the records our appreciation to the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for the continued support it is given to Nasrallah State Government in the area of maintenance of law and order. No doubt, this robust relationship we share with the Federal Government of Nigeria has made it possible for the state to benefit in the establishment of the following. A special joint military operations which was called named Ayum Patuma or Catres, with the operation headquarters in Nasrallah State to take care of the entire North Central Zone. Operation of the Wild Stroke Force, Special Force, with its headquarters in Makodi, Benue State, and operational base here in Nasarawa State. In fact, operational bases here in Nasarawa State to address farmers' harder conflict in the zone. Establishment of 123 Special Force Battalion in Doma, the barrack, which is fully operational, is serving as the headquarters of the Nigerian Army Special Forces Command. The establishment of two military super camps at Mararabang Udege in Nasarao and Kenyehu in total local government areas of the state. An Air Force base here in Lafia is sitting is the sighting of 38 police mobile force, Akwanga, 58 PMF Lafia, 69 PMF in total, and of course the mobile police force training school. And there he heals in Nasrallah in one local government area of the state. <laughs> it is our hope that this cooperation we have enjoyed with the federal government and security agencies and other critical stakeholders will not only be sustained but extended to this all important commission of inquiry and indeed other processes that will contribute to reform the Nigerian police and also bring about peace and stability in Nasrallah State and indeed Nigeria. At this juncture, I urge all and sundry to avail the commission your maximum cooperation and support so that the commission will be able to attend his assignment. In conclusion, government wishes to appeal to the good people of Nasrallah State to continue to exercise restraint and live in peace with one another so that we can continue to live as a very peaceful state that we have always been. Let me use the opportunity to advise those who actually want to cause trouble in the state by driving a mass and in buses to places like Karu so that they can stage a protest. If there is going to be any protest, let it be by residents of Nasrallah State who understand what is happening in Nasrallah State. <laughs> we will not welcome and we will not fall our arms as government and continue to receive other people who do not understand the challenges that we are having in Nasrallah State to come in buses, arrive somewhere in Karu and Kefi, and stage protests in false claims because those people don't understand our problem. They should go to where their residence is and protest in that location. As far as we are concerned, we don't want to.
Thank you. Well, you come and see. What else?